Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. Uh, so one of the things you definitely want to be keeping an eye on this market is the Japanese yen. Uh, yen futures. And so essentially what is happening right now is that as the yen futures catch a bid, like every tick up in the yen futures is seeing the stock market sell off. All right, And this tool, which I'll tell a little bit more about here, you can see that the trend here is slowly changing where the yen has been in a longer term downtrend, but now we've got an uptrend on the one minute chart through the four hour chart, plus squeezes on the monthly chart, two day chart, and of course, you know, the five minute chart. Um, it's critical to watch this at this juncture because every tick higher in the yen futures right now is showing a corresponding tick lower in the stock market. And even after hours right now with the yen futures ticking higher, the NASDAQ futures keep dribbling down. Okay, This dynamic is going to be in place for a while now. And again, so goes the yen, so goes the stock market. And you just want to keep an eye on that. All right, so what do you do in this kind of a market? I like stocks that really don't care. So um, Legend or Ligand Pharmaceuticals, LGND. This is one where we have a fantastic daily squeeze setting up, okay? Um, you can see today that it didn't really care what the rest of the market was doing, all right? So that's the kind of stuff that I'm interested. Wing, okay, Wing Stop. It's another one where it's up today. Uh, you've got a squeeze. You've got profit zones that are nice and high, four or five bucks ahead of where we are, and it just doesn't care what the yen is doing, and it doesn't care what the rest of the market is doing, all right? So that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in here. And then with the rest of the market, you just got to be a little careful because the yen is driving this, all right? Okay, so let's take a look at a couple things here on how to time this rotation. All right, so I want to show you that rotation thing real quick. So the idea with the rotation is simply just being able to have the ability to look at um, key moving average crossovers on multiple time frames. So I do like the 521. And if you're looking at, you know, here's 18 time frames from the monthly, you know, the weekly, four day, three day, all the way down to the one minute. So you can watch this and you can actually see the crosses happening on each one. And then you get this rotation, you know, all the way kind of up to down like that, which, you know, which is great, but it's just hard to follow. So you know, so the idea here is why watch one chart when you can see 18 at a glance. And so this tool that Eric put together, um, it takes all of those 18 time frames and just puts them right up there in a neat little row. And what can happen is you can see like, okay, in this case, the NASDAQ, you can see all the larger time frames, 30 minutes, 60 minutes on up are positive. And so when you see that, then ideally around 15, 20, and sometimes 30, the red just kind of stops. And then the one goes back it's, first, it turns yellow to show you that it's, that it's turning right now, and then it goes to green when it's confirmed, and you can see it right there. And then that's, and then when you see the two, that's when you can say, okay, great, I can start buying this for this rotation, right? So here's the two, and you can see, you know, okay, great. And so when you buy this, what's great about this two is you can use pretty tight stops. So you're buying with a stop here, and then the the potential upside is huge because this could be the bottom of the day, and of course it works just the opposite, you know, if you're shorting too. Um, so then you're just then here you just you have your stop and you're just like okay does the, does the three turn yep the three turn great I can hold on to it is the four gonna turn yep cool I can hold on to it um, is the five gonna turn yes and so on and so that's the kind of stuff that I find is um, you know it just makes it a lot easier and this also works on stocks so like we had this great trade in Amazon the other day where it gapped down all right and so you can see it gapped down here and then right here and of course we had the these were red all the way down to like the 20 minute and then right here the one and the two cross so we started buying calls here all right and then when we came up here and by the way this this indicator down here shows you which time frames have squeezes so the one on the top is all 18 time frames as it relates to moving average crosses and the one on the bottom is all 18 time frames as it relates to squeezes like I cannot look at other charts now because this gives me all the data that I need and yeah this is a one minute chart so I'm not too interested in the price action here but the one minute chart I can look at all this and then I can come over here on the daily chart and say oh, okay well there's the target there's the profit zones and you know all that kind of stuff so on something like this, we could see like, okay, we're sitting up here. We know there's a two hour squeeze. So let's see if this thing can go. And man, that thing just exploded higher, which is great. And so this was a trade we did in the room. And you got to remember, I mean, we, when this, when we got, when we bought options on this, the stock was down $15. And then by the end of the day, it was up $10, all right? So a $25 swing. And with, when you're using leveraged money, it's great. So this was like almost $39,000 as a day trade, which was awesome. 
so anyway, that's that's what these indicators are. So if you're interested in these tools, here's what they are. Um, so the first bundle that we did together is 497, but notice if you're a member, it's 397. I'll talk about that. So the multi-cross, remember, this is all of the 18 moving average crosses on the top of your screen. Okay, that's a $497 indicator. And then the dynamic profit zones, okay, that's those bands where essentially when price gets in there, take your profits because the odds that it's going to now reverse from there are very high. All right, it's a, it's a great way to kind of time your exits and it's just saving a lot of people a lot of frustration. So these two together are 497, but if you're a member, just log in and you can get them for 397. All right, now here's a hack if you're not a member. If you're not a member, just hit, click here. It's a $7 trial, um, and after 30 days, just cancel if you don't want to, you know, you're like, hey, I don't want to be a member, but I want to save $100. Well, in this case, $93. Um, and then if you want to be a member, it's great. I mean, we have text alerts, you know, um, all that kind of stuff in terms of what we're doing. So there's a lot of, I, I, I think, a lot of value there. The explosive bundle, which does sound like irritable bowel syndrome, but it is not. We call it explosive because it also includes those first two indicators as well as the multi-squeeze indicator. And if you remember the multi-squeeze indicator, if you go back, it's the same 18 time frames and it was the row right under the multi-cross that tells you on which time frames there's a squeeze. All right. So, you know, if there's a squeeze on a daily and a two-day chart, that's huge because that's typically going to be an, a fantastic move. So this is 697. And if you remember, it's, um, 597 and then there's a deep stats tool and that's if you saw that chart on the lower left it's got all those crazy stats um, I'll show you that one real quick so this is the deep stats tool and look this one's not for everybody it's just if you're really into kind of the data and stuff like that but this will show you things like hey if this if it breaks below the 8 EMA and it, it'll still stay above the 21 EMA uh, 45% of the time, all right? So it's a good, you know, to buy that. It also shows you the best EMA for this particular stock to buy on pullbacks. In this case, it's the 13-period moving average. Um, and then it's got data, too, that says, hey, when it, you know, dips below the 8 EMA and crosses back up above, on average, you know, in this case, Adobe, is going to rally 2.7% over the next four bars. So it's just a lot of, you know, data, um, which is super helpful. So this is some of the feedback that we've gotten from people that have been using these tools. Uh, these indicators are game changers. They complement the other awesome indicators I use, and I am now getting consistent profits, and I'm able to have my trades positive for this year, finally. Okay? And then don't share this with too many people. This is the most powerful thing I think you guys have built aside from the voodoo lines. And so that's what we found is it just, this is, these are tools that actually help you stay within the ebb and flow of the markets. All right, so, so why is this important? Well, so I love this. This is, uh, traders, I always say, the, big, the biggest thing that traders have to battle is FOMO, so fear of missing out. So here you are in your current trade, and then, you know, it's maybe not doing what you expect, and so you say, oh my gosh, look at this other trade going on, and so you dump this current trade, jump into this one, and then your current trade that actually worked out perfect, and then this one's giving you problems. And so these indicators actually help keep you on track, and they, tell, they give you information and say, hey, you know what, the trade that you're in is still good, okay? Or they'll tell you, like, you know what, your trade actually isn't working and you need to get out. And the thing that you got to remember about the markets is that they're always ebbing and flowing. So you got to just understand where you are in that cycle. So right now what's happening is on a daily chart, we're getting thrusts and reactions in an uptrend. But today on a 30 minute chart, we actually were getting thrusts and reactions to the downside. All right. And so, you know, you want to understand that site, those cycles kind of within the cycles and those EMA crosses kind of help you with that. Um, also, you want to understand what I just call kind of the accumulation trading cycle, and this happens all the time. So near the mean, we'll get accumulation from the institutions. They mark it up. They dis distribute it at the profit zones. All right, that's why we created those things because it's showing you where they're where the, where they're taking profits. Because by the time you realize that, it's oftentimes too late. So you want to be on the right side of that cycle, and then keep in mind too that there's an emotional cycle here, uh, right here. And you want to know, okay, where are you in this emotional cycle? And, you know, are you buying here near the top and then selling here when if you understand the cycle and the moving average crosses, you know, this is where essentially you're getting in here, you're selling at the profit zones. Maybe you're shorting, but are you just waiting for the next rotation, right? And so that's the whole idea is just to stay on the right side of that. 
All right, so that's what all this is. And again, if you're interested in that deep stats tool, that's uh, that. This includes you know the multi cross indicator, the profit zones, and the multi squeeze, and then the deep stats tool. I'd say for most people, this is a no brainer. That's a, you'll get an ROI on this investment almost you know as soon as possible. Now, all each of these bundles also include a live trading session. All right, so this will take place on Tuesday, uh, June 26th, and so the live trading session. Um, we'll get to work together and utilize these live, and then you'll also get a copy of um, documentation on how to set up the indicators and, and all that kind of fun stuff. All right, so just go, you have to type this in simplertrading.com forward slash bundle. It'll take you to this page, and you can get taken care of. All right, I hope it helps. Uh, we love these tools, and I'm very happy to share these, and I uh, hope it improves your own trading as much as it's improving everybody else's and gets you on the road to trading in a way that is not frustrating and creates more consistency. All right, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you at the next update.